Hi, I'm Donna. And I'm Will. And this is Journey with Donna and Will. going to talk about surnames and um, what are surnames? Surnames to me are basically uh, family names that are passed down from generation to generation. Before um, there was a time when there were no surnames and that's because usually there was a small village and um, you had a first name and everybody knew who that was. But as communities got bigger people began to have the need for a last name or a surname. Surnames um, are made up from different things, like an occupation. Uh, location. The father's name. Nickname. So for example, an occupational name would be like Baker, a person who was a baker. Anita Baker um, probably had someone in her lineage. Also in uh, occupation, you, you would have like Taylor, uh, Barber, and Brewer. Um, I have some Barbers and Brewers in, in my ancestry. Or for locations, you would have things like Woods, Hill, Green, uh, Meadows, or Carlisle. So some surnames are actually named after the father of a, uh, of a son. For example, Johnson, Williamson, Jackson, and also uh, the prefixes Mac or O such as McDonald or uh, O'Brien or O'Reilly to signify son of. Nicknames. Um, some say that if a person was arrogant, um, they named them King. If a person was uh, short, their last name might be Small or Little. And if they were smart, um, their last name might be Wise or Fox. So speaking of Little, uh, Malcolm, X, his, his real name was uh, Little, but right. he changed it uh, to Malcolm X. Yeah, he replaced his, what he called quote unquote slave name to X to designate the lost uh, family name from Africa. That does bring up a good point. Um, a lot of the African Americans uh, that live in the United States um, do not have African surnames. My my maiden name is Fair, and my dad, uh, Frank Fair, he grew up in Clinton, South Carolina. His father grew up Leo Fair in Newberry, South Carolina, and his father was James Fair that grew up in Prosperity, Newberry, uh, South Carolina. And in that community was Simeon Fair. Um, he was a white um, slave owner. Um, he had 63 slaves, enslaved people, and his father was William Fair, and he was born in Ireland. Um, so the Fair name uh, comes from Ireland, which is part of Europe. Okay, and on my side, the surname Khan, spelled C-O-N-N, traces back from myself to my father, Roy Khan Jr., who was born in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, to Roy Kahn Sr., my grandfather, born in Franklin, Tennessee, to his father, James Kahn, born in Franklin, Tennessee as well, to either Grundy or Josephus Kahn. And Josephus Kahn owned 17 enslaved people and born in Virginia around 1804, where his parents are documented to be from Ireland found a list the uh, name of African American, Black American names in the U.S. Um, we've listed um, some of the surnames that are attached to our family and our ancestors. And, and the ranking just says the least uh, number associated with it, there's more of them um, in, in the United States. The, the bigger the number, the um, smaller amount persons of African-American descent uh, in, in the United States. So FAIR um, had 800 and was ranked 838. 
and Reynolds was ranked 172. Belton was 814. Edwards uh, was 35. So Day is 433. And Graham is 92. And Thomas was 8. Uh, we'll list uh, all the um, names that uh, we came up with that were on that list. So some African names um, of people that we might know um, is Baidu, Erica Baidu, and that name comes from Ghana. Um, and also Obama, our former president from Kenya. Mandela um, from South Africa. And was Kinte from Gambia. As you know, Africa is a continent and there are many countries within it. So um, they also have common names for the different countries. Like Ali from Libya. Moyo from Zimbabwe. Or Manuel or Manuel from Angola. Lawson from Togo. That's a surprising one because Lawson sounds like an American name. Or Kamara from Sierra Leone. And Minsa from Ghana. My dad and my brother went to Ghana so um, I kind of am interested in Ghana a lot. Um, uh, when they went back, they um, came back with a lot of artifacts. So Ghana has a special place in my heart. So surnames are extremely important. And as African-Americans, it is difficult to know what uh, part of Africa you come from. Um, I can estimate it, it was on the western side um, of Africa because the majority of those who were taken from their country came from that part of it. Yeah, it's just it's disheartening. Uh, we do the best we can. I mean, <laughs> fortunately, there's some hope with uh, DNA these days. We're able to sort of pinpoint country on the continent of Africa where your ancestors may have originated. So that's some information as the technology gets better. I'm... Donna Badu for this episode of Surnames. And I'm Will X. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Journey with Donna and Will. If you have any comments, um, if you'd like to share uh, where your surnames come, please uh, put them in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.